Hey, hey, folks, how is it going? Uh, long time no speak in terms of this sort of format, uh, thought, but I thought I'd do an update as we are very much on the road to ETC now, and uh, it's been a long time. I think it's been uh, end of January since I did an update. Uh, so looking to really to get back involved and let you know what's what's been happening. And of course, uh, a lot of stuff has been happening with Team England and practices and stuff like that. Uh, so we had some uh, practice um, weekends. Uh, this is some of them. And uh, just showing you some, some battles that are going on, lots of tactics being had, lots of uh, chat being chatted. Uh, and... Yeah, it's been really, really fun. Uh, I just want to say a massive thank you to all the guys for making me feel welcome and giving me lots of advice uh, on everything, really, as we've been going along. Um, it's been really cool. Uh, sometimes I feel out of my depth, sometimes I feel like I'm doing all right. Um, but certainly I learned a lot uh, about team play, about list building and, and stuff like that as well. Um, so I'm... I'm yeah, really, really looking forward to it. But of course, uh, the whole idea behind this is to sort of let you guys know what the journey's been, um, really, from my point of view. And uh, uh, it's a lot of games. <laughs> um, we had the, the practice weekend, but between um, January the 1st, I think I did it, and now, which is the 7th of June... Uh, I've had 56 games, and that is a lot of games in about 160 days uh, to try and fit in with regular life and family. So that has been hugely challenging, but also exciting as well um, to go through like loads of lists, loads of games, meet loads of new people, uh, a lot through the online um, community, so uh, Spring Fling, etc. Uh, and try out my gaming against them uh lots very inconsistent <laughs> from my point of view so i've been uh, some good results some really really good results some really bad results uh and some middle-ish so it's just all over the place really in terms of that but it's um I, yeah really exciting and uh and there is lots of learning um so for those of you guys that uh, want to know a bit more about england um yes yeah, like discords and we have game logs and things like that uh, which is really cool um, but it just means it's a bit like the the, the, the channel really uh, when we do videos uh, well when we do battles and bat reps and things obviously you've got to you've got to take the good with the bad and when you do the logs for everything you've got to log all your mistakes and everything like that so it kind of puts you out on this earth um, uh, just push you out there just to get slammed sometimes but also uh, celebrate the good bits and take some learning hopefully uh, into it we've got about um, a month and a half I guess uh, before we go into uh, ETC so yeah uh, really really looking, looking forward to it um, obviously we in between that as well we've had some tournaments um, so uh, in between the last video anyway out of war of course one of the biggest if not the biggest uh, tournament of, of the year in Bristol. Um, and I th what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through each of the tournaments I've been to. Uh, there have been more, I just haven't been able to get to all of them. Uh, but also talk you through my list uh, in terms of England and what we are thinking. Um, I think. So we'll, we'll go through that. Um, uh, yeah, and I mean, a, a great event. This was... Uh, it's always a great event, Bristol, and uh, this is the venue, I think, before people started getting in um, and stuff. I think this might have been the day before, actually, but I'm not sure. Uh, and, yeah, it's just a really good atmosphere, really great weekend, as always, man, uh, as always. Uh, but looking at my list, I'll try and zoom that in a bit uh, for you guys. Uh, my list was a trial list, um, so something that we were... I I got... I obviously in the Masters played High Vaughns, uh, and then we sort of looked at the team, and I got switched over to Warriors really um, to see right. Let's let's give give me Warriors. Let's see what I can do. 
from that point of view and um, what is good. And Chosen Knights were really, really good. We actually had, a, before this, I played a Wretched Ones list, uh, which is basically Tanker's list, if people don't know. Um, two big Wretched Ones, two big Chosen Knights, uh, Warriors and some Sorcerers, which is very, very good and has some really good matchups, really bad matchups. Um, but yeah, this was the first tournament I've been to where I'm trialing a list for a team and seeing if I can, if this is any good. And it was, uh, it was really interesting. It was double Herald and triple Chosen Knights uh, with Envy for the extra spice of um, long distance um, charges and things like that. And it was really, really fun to play. It was hard. Um, and it certainly felt like it had some matchups where if the Chosen Knights weren't any good, then you were on your own. There wasn't um, a lot to it, uh, obviously, by the looks of things. Um, the Heralds were the most uh, tricky to use, but realistically, it was just a push list. Uh, and yeah, it was it was fun. It was quick. Uh, the, the magic was decent. I created some cards as well. You might have seen in the, in the bat reps for the, the Heralds, which are really fun. Um, and... Yeah, a good time really uh, with it. Uh, so that was my first trial, which is very, very interesting. I was I was really happy to be part of that. Then um, off the back of this, there was obviously the March updates, which ooh, zoomed in a bit too much, sorry. Uh, which saw a few changes to the Warriors and uh, initially, um, anyway, after the, the immediate, this was my list, which we're going to try, which... I played for a while and it was, I really enjoyed it. I, there is a lot to this that I really, really liked. Um, the the Warrior Knights won up armor uh, and with pride for the most part, uh, they were uh, kick ass. <laughs> um, just hold up so much and ridiculously, uh, ridiculously tanky. Uh, again, it's another push list though, very, very blocky for uh, cavalry un uh, units as well. Um, and it had the big chosen lord with Bernard Porn, which I, I just, I, I was surprised how much I loved this actually um, going into it. I, I just, uh, yeah, I, I, I really enjoyed all the aspects to this. And again, it's fairly simple to be honest. Wasn't much. That you had the two war hounds as chaff, which. Uh, definitely try and if you're playing a similar, similar try and get um, the flayers in because they're so much better in every way. Um, but yeah, it was it was super fun, super fun. The different iterations of this came over the next sort of month or so, um, and yeah, it was. I, I definitely uh, recommend this list, and it's something actually. Probably after ETC, I'd I'd like to look at personally go uh, going back to it because I felt like there was a real good opportunity to do a um, Final Fantasy themed list uh, here with like the warriors being all like your your characters and things and the warrior knights with um, oh I forgot the company but I think it is but it, it has loads of chocobo knights and I thought this would be amazing. Uh, as a converted list, and it's something I might come back to. I really, I, I really enjoyed this for a Warriors list. I don't have half the models uh, for it, which would have been an issue for EDC. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, something I, I, we played for a long time. Uh, I really liked. I think there's a lot to it. Um, well, in terms of actually uh, winning games and, and list wise, it's a really, really strong list. Uh, I would recommend it for anybody who wants to uh, give give something relatively easy to play a go. Um, and yeah, different iterations with the, the flaming banners and things like that. But loved it. Absolutely loved it. Would highly recommend. However, that wasn't what I ended up um, going on to uh, and deciding on to. Uh, this got to about April. Mid-April, I think. Uh, maybe, maybe not quite that far De definitely the end of march um and all of a sudden i found myself switching over to the vampires uh and this is a, a screenshot or a thumbnail really taken from the march to march for victory um teams event that uh, you 
you've probably seen this uh, bat rep up and we're going through them uh, with myself and Hyper-G taking a, a look at look back at it but um, yeah uh, for about a month or so uh, and the team um, weekend as well actually I thought I then got moved on to vampires which a little bit of me was very very excited at, actually um, I didn't think I'd be looking at vampires um, going into the ETC which is super was super fun uh, and obviously had the March update as well and a few things change and it's definitely a list that I don't normally take it's something that I, I wouldn't normally think of and I'll see if I can zoom in a little bit here this is was the final version for March for Victory um, and essentially has this big skeleton Legion banner bus with some ghasts and and, and all the magic in the world like an insane insane amount of magic um which just is such a toolbox to use um this, this isn't the final list this is uh sort of obviously just the list for that there'll be lots of tweaks and things uh going into it but with a month and a half to go uh i'm on vampires and i'm on this um there was one uh, one iteration before this which had so the Bestial Bolt, it uh, basically had a Vampire Knight killer, Killy, Killy Lord, uh, instead of the Vampire Courtier with the Bestial Bulk in Ghasts, uh, and I had two units of Vampire Knights. So it was like heavily, well, yeah, very similar off the back of the Warriors um, in a way it worked, but a few other uh, niceties, I guess. Um, but yeah, all the magic in the world, and it's been really, really fun to play. Um, hard to play, much easily the hardest one. But I mean, the ones before that was Warriors, to be fair. <laughs> so yeah, to be expected. But yeah, definitely a lot harder to play. Huge props to, to Tanker and Hugh and Jake and all, all the England guys for giving me advice on this um, all the way through. I uh, say all the fifty-six um, battles I've had, they must have seen pictures of all of them and I, I definitely nagged them enough to uh, watch, watch my pictures and give me feedback and stuff and it's been really really good. Also uh, in the last few days actually speaking to Mikey, Big, not, Big Mikey Newman uh, ex-England captain obviously uh, who has really helped me out and really helped me to focus uh, on some aspects and uh, actually helped me with some changes as well so uh, looking forward really to the next month and a half of going through this and yeah really trying to hone down my skills with it the the last month uh, with this has been super I, again inconsistent really with uh, things but in a good way um like so i've been having good really good wins uh which in, in matchups I shouldn't have, and really bad wins, uh, oh, bad losses, sorry, uh, in matchups that I should have won. Um, but it's, I've been really trying to test things out, like, and stretch the list as much as possible, um, and seeing what, what risks work, what, what don't, uh, on the whole, and things like that. And I, I feel like I've got to a point now where I can uh, really work with it, and it's super exciting. Uh, I'm, I'm really excited to see how the next, I'm obviously, how as, as I go back to the last video how I got into ETC I'm not sure um, but I'm really I'm really happy for the experience and the guy's been super um, supportive and yeah I've, I've really enjoyed the, the experience so far so um, they bring on the next month or so uh, we've got pairings week in a weekend in a month uh, which is after obviously the the deadline which is at the end of this month um, four lists and yeah we'll be um, well yeah marching on I, I guess uh, from that point of view and I'm excited to see how we get on nervous man I'm really really nervous because uh, I don't want to I don't want to be the chump that gets like naught every every round but uh, we'll see hopefully uh, hopefully with a, a month more playing I'll, uh, we'll there we'll, uh, we won't be the chump. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. 
But we're not all here to talk about just the ETC in England. We are here to talk about hobby as well. Um, obviously, with this list, um, there was quite a few bits I didn't have uh, in the army, and uh, this is uh, starting mainly the spectral stuff. So this is um, the, the start of uh, the wraiths and the uh, you can see the spirit hosts and also uh, the ga the ghoul lord. Ghoul King? No. Ghast Lord. Whatever he's called. I completely forgot. Um, but yeah, so uh, trying some different techniques and especially on the basin, I really um, really tried something different with that in terms of, it's not It's not overly uh, extravagant or anything, but it's a couple of different base coats uh, together. Um, basically tried to speed paint them as much as possible. So uh, base them white as you see in the last picture then contrast paints uh, for the win and then highlights over the top um, which has been yeah it's been nice to do so you can get some really good results um, without much detailing I, I think before ETC this was for March to Victory so um, not so much detail although this one I tried to do as much detail as possible but I will be going back and adding in little bits here and there uh, but the contrast paints was just super uh, super useful man um, I'm really I'm really on board with those <laughs> um, the paints uh, for sure um, the gas were already painted so uh, I had them up I just had to redo the base and this is the ghoul lord I'm not overly happy with him actually um, I, I liked everything apart from his crown uh, I, I, so I, I'm probably going to redo the crown and the sword bit. Um, I don't know what, but um, yeah. So if you have any advice, really, uh, on what I can do to make that look better, I, I, I just wasn't keen on the. I guess I could make it gold, but it also like this yellow thing. I'm not keen on the yellow, so I'm going to change that in the future. Um, but yeah, uh, this is. A large part of my army, and um, along with ghouls and skeletons, I'm I'm now done. Although uh, with tweaks, I've, I've got a few more to do. But yeah, um, really, really happy. I guess from the um, highborns that I did for masters, I've not really done a huge amount in terms of new stuff. Uh, so the basin, I just want I tried a few different things. So it was like two different contrast paints over the top. Uh, with just regular stone pebbling sort of thing so it's, no, it's nothing too ex ex extravagant but uh sort of gives that sort of general theme and like dirty gravel theme um throughout which is I, I quite enjoyed um putting on so yeah if you've got any uh tips or advice on how to make these uh, look better especially the ghoul king gas king um not yet, I, I want a few things of it. and maybe some advice on uh, other hobbying or sharing the stuff that you've done. Um, probably focusing on contrast paints and uh, pebble basing, uh, we'll say. But um, yeah, I had a lot of fun with these models. Uh, although the spirit, the spirit host were not, I was not a fan of putting them together. They, they were not good to put together. <laughs> uh, really like the dynamics of the models and a lot of it, uh, if not all of it, is GW. Not sure, um, but yeah, the spirit host would t uh, a nightmare to put together. Um, everything else was all good, and uh, I enjoyed. So yeah, that's a uh, hobby side of things. Um, and moving on, we actually have uh, we are two thirds also of what we've been doing as things. Two thirds of the way through our mega battle, um, and this was open for Patreon uh, users. Uh, to get involved with, so uh, in some WhatsApp groups, uh, I, there's Team Lucky Sixes, Team Hyper G, uh, and yeah, we've we've we're two thirds of the way through, so this is uh, the start of it, and uh, much more to come. We will do a battle report thing uh, special for uh, number three hundred, um, but this is just to sort of show you what what was happening, and uh, yeah, so with two days so far, we've got one more day coming up. Uh, it's all in Hyper Cheese Garage, um, and yeah, loads and loads of fun, and 
uh, lots of things happened and basically it was I won't spoil it too much but it was so many thousand points um, like 20,000 each maybe more 25,000 so I think it was like 50,000 point battle just insane it's just insane um, and yeah that, that's something to look forward to and something to come up uh, in the future so uh, watch out folks watch out uh, and finally, um, some other bits that I've been doing outside of uh, Ninth Age. We we had a few sessions with my family uh, <laughs> doing D&D, &D, uh, which is really cool. I, I don't know whether anybody else plays D&D or anything like that, um, but certainly it's been really fun to do um, and have a couple of days, uh, well, not days, but like sessions um with the the mother and father-in-laws and all and, and everything like that uh with my wife's family come along did some D, &D uh which was really really fun really fun um and of course uh, those of you that uh, keep up with these hobby things the the kids are still jabbing away at the at the armies um and uh yeah i even got um the cousins involved as well so uh, the 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 construction line increases and uh maybe we'll have loads of, loads of models in, uh, involved in the next few months and so um definitely second part second half of the year i'm gonna look to get some uh stuff specifically with uh kids armies and things which are a bit of a collection now um which is really really cool uh, and that's my daughter loving painting uh, life at the minute. Um, so yeah, let's know as always. Uh, let's know if you're outside of hobby stuff uh, going on and, and family life and things. Um, I hope everyone's doing really well. Um, I hope these are exciting as well. Let me know if these um, sort of types of videos are just informing you about what's going on. Um, are useful obviously we've got etc from now at this point it's the road to etc so uh, my vampire list is going to be hit hard with lots of things i've got lots of battles from tournaments that i've been doing uh, and um, uh, i guess uh, tournaments that i will be doing and practice games i'll be doing and talking about the list and the list structure and how we do that we've also got some uh, team england bat uh, videos uh, to put up in the next month or so so watch out for them um, they're really cool uh, interviews with players and captains and stuff like that um, and yeah just a whole lot going on um, we're, we're all very excited and we're all very uh, eager to bring you loads and loads of content um, obviously we've got that the hobby if the hobby side of this was any good um, for you guys then ch do check out uh, the gobbo's hobby videos they're rolling on thick and fast um, and doing really well at the minute so go support that um, and yeah as always like share subscribe on the channel and uh, um, we're we're excited to bring you as much content as possible um, I think that'll do for now uh, but I yeah like I said I, I hope you enjoy these videos please leave a comment uh, on any of the stuff that you've seen in this video and um, any uh, questions you have about uh, ETC or uh, the hobby stuff that I've been doing or the lists um, or why I got changed uh, to different armies and stuff I'm happy to answer those questions um, I do really enjoy answering comments and things like that even if they're just to say how amazing we are because we're like proper amazing right um, <laughs> uh, so yeah so I think that'll do for today. Um, thanks very much for watching. Really, really appreciate you guys. Um, look forward to seeing you guys out in, in different areas and different tournaments and stuff. Obviously, for uh, I'll try and I'll try and do one more before ATC of these. Um, apologies for the delay uh, between them. If you're keeping up to it and enjoying them, um, I'll try and do one more just before we go to ETC, and of course all the ETC coverage and stuff like that. So. Until the next time, folks, see you later.